All right, so as a dancer, do you agree that some dances are now included as part of sports competitions? For example, ballroom dance and break dancing. Um, I love the fact that these dances are now in sports competitions. Get as long as you know the proper judges are are in there. I don't. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't really know too much of you know how the dance sport kind of uh, industry is working. But as long as there are legit people judging these people from the the their respective communities, I'm all for it. Uh, because ballroom dancing urban dancing breaking funk styles all these styles require a lot of practice um just as much as any athletes you got to work on the technique you got to work on uh, you know your sets you got to work on your game plan and how you're going to approach the battle or you know the competition it requires hours and hours of practice that i think all these forms of dance are just as athletic as any sport that exists out there um the only difference is we're doing it to music so <laughs> I don't see why not, you know, just because it's kind of an art form itself. I think any sport is an art form as well. The art of basketball, the art of football. There's a there's sort there's a sort of the technical parts of the game, you know, learning how to dribble, like know, knowing how to do a pick and roll in basketball. And same thing with breaking, you know, you got to know the technique of a six step of, you know, top rocks. You got to know the difference uh, creating sets. You know, there's sets and breaking are the equivalent of running plays for basketball um the difference is you know the the scope of how how involved your body is basketball it's much more involved with the team breaking is much more like you know your individual use of your body the intricacies are are a lot different but nonetheless the principles and a lot of it the 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 principles and a lot of the work that's put in is just as rigorous as one another so I'm glad that these are being part, part of sports competitions because now it's like um, for the longest time dancing, especially me growing up, dancing for boys, you know, uh, it wasn't cool. It was considered gay. And I know it's like a, a very at this generation, it would be like very not politically correct. But back then when I was growing up, people threw the word gay as an insult, like like whatever. Yeah, for just for the longest time, guys dancing at least from my experience guys dancing wasn't the coolest thing i guess in the eyes of other boys with you know being in high school and middle school that kind of peer pressure sucked the being so aware of people's opinions i mean the cool thing is being a guy dancer <laughs> was getting the hearing the screams from the girls that's what kind of got me to change my opinion about it because like for a while i was anti-dance like in six like just to give you guys context sixth grade like i was i started dancing when i was eight sixth grade i was called a fag for dancing in my in my uh, elementary school four years i was i quit dancing i became a skater boy very angry angsty and all that stuff uh 10th grade junior year, junior year i joined uh my high school's dance team um fell in love with dance again and rediscovered my joy and passion for it i became I, it, it literally changed uh who i was in a sense uh because i wasn't coming from anger i was coming from a place where i was i felt you know myself and i felt happy about doing it and you know i got to dance with girls <laughs> and being socially awkward growing up um at least i i feel i felt like i was um it felt cool because i started learning how to talk to girls comfortably without freaking out or stuttering I don't even know how I got here, but yeah, but nonetheless, um, even then in high school, we were practicing crazy hours, like zero period from six to eight, we were practicing. Then after school, three to like six, if it's not competition season yet, then when it, is, then when it is competition, like maybe three to eight, maybe three to nine, if we're that behind. And then you just had to be really good at managing your time to make sure your, your, your grades were good. Otherwise you wouldn't dance. So, um, yeah it, there's a lot of work put into dancing and i'm glad it's being put into into the context of sports and i think um i think it'll give de uh, deeper appreciation to the mainstream because it's it shows um even i'm that's what i'm kind of grateful for shows that can that have come like um like america's got talent or so you think you can dance or america's best dance crew or world of dance because it shows the grind and the hustle that these dancers put into it um i think the next thing would be that i think would be dope if, is if they actually showed legit 
b-boy battles on tv and had actual commentating i know the red bull bc1 does it and it and for the most part it's approved over the years but i would but most of the time you see it on youtube it would be dope to see that on like an nbc or you know on any of these mainstream television stations even though traditional media is on on its way out